we install PSP emulator, Spotify and VLC media player in Chrome OS Flex. Hello everybody, you are on Andrei Halovi channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install very popular application on Chrome OS Flex. Spotify, PSP emulator, VLC media player. All this application you can install in Chrome OS Flex. And believe me, you will not find any of this application in the web store. So literally today we're going to make Chrome OS Flex look much better. We will make it more convenient because more apps, more application, newer application, it always better. So let's get started. So guys, we are in Chrome OS Flex and if you click here, you may see some application. Google Chrome browser, file manager, web store, etc. Actually, most of this application are installed by default. That's mean if you install Chrome OS Flex, you will also see some of these applications. And right now I'm going to show you how to activate Linux in Chrome OS Flex. So for this, we need to click here. Then you need to find this setting logo. You need to click on it, settings. And now you need to scroll down a little bit and find advanced. Click on it, scroll down a little bit another time. And here you may see developers. So you need to click on it. As you can see, now we can activate Linux. Before you do this, you need to go to your BIOS and you need to enable virtualization. It is very important. Actually, every BIOS may be different, but you may find this option, virtualization. So friends, after you activate virtualization in the BIOS, you can activate Linux. For this, you need to click here, turn on. Okay, in this window, you need to click next. And very important, you can name your username. For the example, I will type user. Please pay attention right now. Now we need to allocate space for our Linux distro. So click here on custom. And for the example, I will allocate 100 gigabytes, something like that. So after you allocate how many space do you want to use, you can click install. Now we just need to wait until Linux will be installed on your laptop or computer. After installation, you will automatically see the terminal. But for some reason, if you don't see the terminal, you just need to click here on the launcher. In my case, Linux terminal is in the upper left corner. So we just need to click on it. Now you need to click on Penguin here. Then you need to type next. sudo apt update. This command will check for the latest updates. So now we just need to press enter and wait a few minutes. Okay, after that, we need to type another command sudo apt upgrade and press enter. Okay, now very important, you need to type y, that's mean yes. And you need to press enter. Wait a few minutes. After upgrading complete, you can type exit. Press enter. Now we can close this window, the terminal. And we need to go to our browser, open new page. And we need to type next. Flatpak. And press enter. Actually, Flatpak will help us to install a Linux application. It is very convenient. We need to click here. Links will be in the video description. So friends, we are on Flatpak official website. And now you may see this message. Get set up. Click here. My friends, in this window, we need to select a Linux distribution. Actually, we need to select a Debian Linux distribution. It is container inside Chrome OS Flex. So you need to click here on Debian. And we have a friendly guide how to install Flatpak. Actually, everything is very easy. First of all, we need to copy this command. Click on the right mouse button. Copy. Okay. And now we need to go to the terminal. Click on the terminal another time. Select Penguin. So very important, we need to type sudo. Press the spacebar. 
click on the rightmost button, it will automatically pass the text that we previously copy and press enter. Now we see the next message, do you want to continue and we need to type Y, that's mean yes, and press enter. And now you just need to wait until it will be installed on your computer. After this process, another time we need to go to the Google Chrome browser, scroll down a little bit. We can bypass the second step. The most important that we really need is the third command. Another time you need to copy it, click on the right mouse button, select copy. And we need to go to the terminal another time. And now we need to type next, sudo, press the spacebar, click on the right mouse button and press enter. Okay, after this process, another time, let's go to the Google Chrome browser. And as you can see, we need to restart our computer. So I will go to the terminal. I will type exit, exit, press enter. So to restart Chrome OS Flex, we need to turn off the computer and another time turn it on. So I will restart the computer and we will prestige to the next stage how to install Linux application in Chrome OS Flex. So friends, I restart my computer and we are in Chrome OS Flex. Now another time we need to open Google Chrome browser and then we need to type next. Flood Hub and press enter. So here you may see Flood Hub, click on it. So on this website, we can install Linux application. It is very easy and convenient. For the example, I will click here on the search icon and I will type Spotify and press enter. As you can see, it is Spotify. I will click on it. So to install Spotify, it will be not enough to click on this button install. We need to scroll down a little bit. So to install Spotify, we need to do next. We need to copy the command and as you can see, we have a very, very convenient icon. So we can click on it and it will automatically copy our command. Click on it, click on terminal, select penguin. Now we need to type next, sudo, press the spacebar, click on the right mouse button and press enter. Do you want to install it? Yes. We need to type Y and press enter. Another time type Y, press enter. So actually now you just need to wait until Spotify will be installed on your computer. Installation is finished. We can type exit, press enter, close this window. If we click here on the launcher, you may see Spotify. So let's click on it. So actually we install Spotify on our laptop and we can run it like other application in Chrome OS Flex. So friends, as you can see, we are in the Spotify. Everything works quite well. Sorry, I can't play some song because I will get copyright claim. But believe me, everything works correctly. So you can choose the song which you want and everything will work. So we can close Spotify. Spotify work without any problem. So let's install another useful application. So we can click on the search another time and then we will type next VLC player and press enter. As you can see, it is VLC player. Click on it. So another time to install VLC player, we need to scroll down a little bit. Also here we see information about updates, the version of the program, etc. Another time we will click on this convenient icon, copy this command and go to the terminal. Penguin. I will type sudo, press the spacebar, click on the right mouse button and press enter. Another time I need to type y, that means yes, press enter. Y, enter, and now you also need to wait until VLC player will be installed in Chrome OS Flex. I successfully installed VLC player and now I will type exit, press enter, 
close this window. Another time, let's go to our application. In short, I'm going to show you how to run this player. So for the example, I will go to my download folders. For the first time, you need to click on the right mouse button, open with VLC Media Player. Click on it. Click on it. Scroll down a little bit and here you may see developers. To search for PSP emulator, I will just type. So friends, as you can see, everything works quite well. You can use this media player when you want to open some file that has high resolution and big bitrate. It will be the best solution in this case. So another time, we need to go to the Google Chrome browser, to the Floodhub official website, click on the search and type next. PSP. Press enter. And what do we see here? PSP emulator. Click on it. A PlayStation Portable Emulator, copy, go to the terminal, penguin, type sudo, press the spacebar, click on the right mouse button and press enter. Why? Yes. And we successfully installed PSP emulator in Chrome OS Flex. So we will type exit, press enter, close terminal. And now if we look on our desktop, you may see PSP emulator. Also, you may see that Linux application automatically are in this mini folder. We can click on it and you can see the Linux apps that we previously installed. So I will close simulator and now I will show you how to download the game to run it in PSP emulator. I recommend to type next CD Romance and press enter. After that you need to click on this website. Links will be in the video description. If you want to install games for PSP, PS1 or other consoles, you can use this website. It is very convenient to install games. So I will type next Loco Roku, press enter, scroll down a little bit and now I need to find the PSP version of Loco Roku. The example I will sell the United States, scroll down a little bit and here you may see show download links. Click on it and if you click here it will automatically download the game on your laptop or computer. Click on it. After this game will be downloaded on my laptop, I will show you the next step what you need to do to run game in PSP emulator. Game is downloaded on my PC and now I need to click on files, go to the download folder and here you may see a local Roco. First of all, we need to open this archive. Double clicking. After we successfully open our archive, here you may see ISO file, click on the right mouse button and copy this file. Then I recommend to go to the download folder. To make it more convenient, I will pass ISO file to the download folder. Click on the right mouse button and select Paste. After this process, we need to wait until it will unzip the archive. And it may take about two minutes. Here you may see local Rocco ISO file. Now we need to click on the right mouse button select open with and here you may see PSP click on it wait a few minutes PSP emulator is running now you need to take a close look open it in full screen to make it more convenient we need to select the place where the game is in my case I need to select MNT then I need to select Chrome OS my files Download and voila, here you may see Loco Roco. Click on it. Okay, I will select the language. Right now, I'm playing PSP game in Chrome OS Flex without any problem. As you can see, I'm using keyboard. Also, you have opportunity to go to the settings. You can change the resolution. You can change a lot of options. You can use another keys. It all depends on you. But as you can see, everything works quite 
well. Also, I want to remind you that on my channel I already made video where I showing you in detail how to run PSP games in Chrome OS Flex. You can find a lot of games which run stably. So friends, what do we have? We install PSP emulator, Spotify and VLC media player in Chrome OS Flex. Actually, you can use this tip to install other application if you wish. The thing is, today I show you only stable application that works on my old computer. So probably you can try to install other application, for the example you can try to install Steam. And as you can see, Steam is also available, but the thing is, it works not stably on my old computer. You can try to install it and probably everything will work for you. So friends, I think it will be more than enough for today. So guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to watch video about similar operating system to Chrome OS Flex, but with Google Play Store, I recommend to click here. On this video, click right now.